Hello everybody, this is James Roney Staters with freemagneticenergy.info. Um, over the last year or so, probably more, probably two or three years, I've got an enormous amount of questions and these questions pretty much boil down to the same question over and over again. Um, so I want to go over principle here, how this works and why it works the way it does. Um, and it's important that I get as much information up online because you never know when I just might check out and then you'll never see me again. You know, I mean, people die. You know, people disappear sometimes too with, with no explanation. You know, I'm not exactly young. I'm not old either, but, you know, tomorrow I could have a heart attack. You know, heaven forbid, God forbid. Because um, my research is important. And I truly believe that like so many countless people here that are brought here into this world are here on a mission. Uh, I don't know how many of you all have gotten involved or listened to near-death experiences on YouTube, but if you listen to two or three hundred of them, like I have, you begin to hear a common theme. And uh, nearly all of them were sent back. They all said they all had a mission and they had to return. I'm not going to get into that. That's not what this video is about. But I truly believe my mission is, is two things. Uh, this wheel here, this uh, being able to make a an engine that runs strictly on magnetics with no external power supply. Um, and then the other, it's pretty top secret, but I, I, no, I'm not going to spill the beans on it it's because it just complicates matters here with you know my security. But here nor there, this is really a side tangent. This is not something this is not my main forte working with magnets but i have a good head on my shoulders at least i like to think i do and so i started dabbling in these magnets and doing this like my father did way back some 35 years ago he was trying to do the same thing he never succeeded in, and um but i know he was close by the way he was doing it but he lacked what i refer to as a special stator that i call the james roney stator and uh, one-way magnetic shielding. Now, this magnetic shielding is this stator is right here. And the way I've built this, you can go and look this up on my channel, and you'll see how this is built. And I took it apart. Now, I'm not going to take this one apart. These are very hard to build, very tricky. But once you get it built right, they work really, really nice. Now, kind of a close view of what's going on back here, and you know, up here, you know, you can see this wheel moves freely. Now, you'll see, let me move this here to the lead magnet here. Okay, the whole point of this video here is to show you that I have overcome the sticky spot. Now, if you don't know what a sticky spot is, you probably don't have any need to watch this video. But if you know what a sticky spot is, then you probably have been playing with magnets. So, I have overcome the sticky spot, which is what everybody runs into. Now, there are videos on YouTube where the sticky spot seems to be overcome. Um, because of what I'm going to show you, because I've overcome it, I have to believe that, yeah, maybe some of those videos are legit. However, most of these videos are not legit. They're stolen videos, and these websites slap their name onto the video um, and try to claim these videos as theirs. And it's not that hard to figure out when they do that, especially when they post 40, 60, or 120 of the same video on the same channel. And then they never come back to that channel. Um, I want to let you know that you are permitted. I'm giving you liberal copyright permission i repeat that, whoever is viewing this video has liberal copyright permission to repost this video elsewhere. However, you are not permitted to use my video for financial gain directly or indirectly in any aspect whatsoever. So please refrain from copying my video for personal financial gain. Okay, so let's get down to the meats and potatoes of all of this. This is my stator, and what I've done here is that I have taped 
This is um, a two inch cross, one inch down by half inch deep or, or thickness, uh, neodymium uh, N52 magnet. And then I have um, another uh, neodymium magnet inside of here. It is shielded in a very special way. What we have here is we have attraction and we have repulsion on this side here. And But by the way of shielding, there's metal shielding here. Like I said, go watch the video. These magnets here are drawn to it because you can see it cogging. Let me show you it's cogging. See it has rocking back and forth. So it shows you the principle of attraction. So I kind of got past something. I'm sorry. I, I I skipped over something. I wanted to show you proper construction of how these magnets are lined up. Again, two inch magnet by one inch, by half inch thick. I've taped them on to the position of the spoke, center to the spoke. Now, for convenience sake, I use this as an English racing bicycle wheel. I'm not sure how many inches it is. It's probably a 30 inch wheel, whatever it is, maybe 32. And then I skip a spoke, and then I put the next magnet here, center, of this spoke. Now I did this in the beginning just to keep it easy to figure out mathematically spacing evenly. So you can see one spoke has a magnet, skip a spoke. One spoke has a magnet, skip a spoke. One spoke has a magnet, skip, magnet, skip, magnet. Now I haven't fastened this one down. Um, but anyway, so now, here on these, I have a second set over here. These are not spaced the same. Here it is on the spoke, and then instead of skipping a spoke, we have the next magnet at one and a half spokes away, the center of the magnet. And then you can see the configuration is not one spoke, skip a spoke, one spoke, skip a spoke, one spoke, skip a spoke. They're closer together. Generally, the closer the magnet, the better this works. However, these are too close, and this doesn't work really well. But for the point of what I'm about to show you here, a better known as leapfrogging, these will show you that these are too close, but when they're spaced a little bit further apart, they leapfrog perfectly. Leapfrogging means that because of my unique James Roney stator, uh, that when this lead magnet comes through, usually you have to push it through. And then once you push it through, it'll keep on going. But remember, this is a traction. So I don't have to push it through. And then repulsion over here. So what we have here, and this is metal. This is metal there. Okay? So, all I have to do it's just release. I can feel it pulling here. I can feel it trying to pull through. So let me just release it and show you. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to do this by hand first. As this magnet goes through, it gets a little bit more speed. This speed here takes it to this magnet. Now, each time it goes through one of these magnets,